So hi everyone, this is Jessica from the Achievement Squad, coming at you with a 100% walkthrough for the title Abduction. As part of this video, I'm going to show you how to get all of the achievements, trophies in the game to get to the full 1000G or Platinum. As of this point onwards, there is a full spoiler warning in effect as we will show you the game from start to finish. So there are a total of 14 achievements in this game. There are a few missables, but I'll show you where they are along the way. Uh, and then pretty much the majority is story related. The game itself um, is pretty much puzzles all the way throughout and things like mazes and kind of navigating all of this kind of stuff. Uh, it's going to take you roughly about, I'd say, two and a half to maybe three hours to get to the end of the game. Overall, it's a very enjoyable game. The only thing that holds it back is probably the loading screens are a little bit too long, so I will cut them short in this video. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. So the first part of this game is nice and easy. Uh, you pretty much just need to head down to the water and then you want to take a left and go up the hill until you reach a picnic bench. I'm not going to narrate over this part because there's a piece of story that you'll probably want to listen to. We all lost everything. Everything but our stories. And they shouldn't be forgotten. I was three. It was April of 1983. Cecil, it was 1870 for you. That was late. That's where all of our new stories began. None of us understood. But, well, we followed. And we all felt some kind of trepidation, and yet attraction. So we approached it, and it approached us. You all remember, there was no turning away. It advanced, almost like purposefully. Spinning slowly until, well, found us, each of us. We should tell these stories because it, it saved us and Alright, so now we are warping into the main game. Um, as you can see, the loading screens do take a little while, but um, I will cut them out of the main video. You want to exit out between the two trees, and you want to follow the pathway down as far as you can. Uh, and you're going to walk into this big kind of open area. Now, on the right hand side as you're following this main path, you're going to see a little red crystal. Now, these little red crystals, you can go over and interact with them, and it's going to give you backstory to the game. Now, they're not required for the achievements, but uh, I will kind of point them out along the way as I'm going through this if you want to stop and listen to Hello. them. But it will give you a bit Bonjour. more information around Ciao. what's going on in the world. Hola. If you choose to Hello. leave these crystals behind sure. and things like the documents and stuff, you won't really understand what's going much on in the story and it's actually quite an in-depth story. Now head towards the tracks. You want to take a left and you want to follow it up the hill. You're going to see a mine shaft with a bug flying out of it. Take a left here. And you want to keep following the path up until you go past this mining co building. And you want to keep walking straight. To your left now is another red crystal if you want to look at it. Go underneath the tracks and ahead of you you're going to see this blue fire that's on the floor. Now you want to make your way past this blue fire. You can walk through it, it's not going to hurt you. And you want to go into this building just here. And at the back of this building there is a button on a door which you want to click to be introduced to the character CW. Now CW is pretty much going to give you a main objective, he's going to want you to switch on the power in the area so that he can, can escape the place. So I'm going to cut it short just so I, I don't ruin too much of the story for you, um, but I'd recommend that you have a listen to what he's got to say. So from this point onwards you want to turn around and you want to exit the building to the left and you want to follow the walkway across the water and you're going to come across a lift. At this lift you want to pull the switch to the right and that's going to take you up. And when you reach the top, you're going to want to turn around and we're going to go open the waterways. So at the top of the lift, take a left, you want to go up the ramp to the very top, so just follow it all the way along. 
and as you reach the rocks at the top, take a right and follow it around until you reach a uh, kind of like a dam. On the other side is a lever. If you push the A button uh, or X, and then you'll be able to pull the, the lever to the right. For some reason, I have a hard time doing it the first time around. You're going to get yourself the achievement for opening the waterways. Uh, it's called Let It Flow. So you're redirecting water into Hunrath. Now we want to backtrack, so follow the rocks down. Take a left, and you want to go back onto the wooden planks that you used to get up to the top. And you want to head all the way down to the lift again, and you want to use the lift to go back down. So when you're at the bottom, you want to take a left and you want to follow the walkways back into CW's house. You want to exit out to the right of his house and you want to go past the blue flame again. Once you've gone past the blue flame, take a left and you want to follow the walkway or the pathway down to the, to the very end. And you're going to see a kind of gate that is in front of you in front of the river, which has got a propeller on it. You want to pull down the right hand side of the propeller. Now. From here, turn around and you want to pull the lever that is opposite the propeller bridge. This will turn it around and this is going to allow you to walk on by. So head over to the propeller again, cross over the little bridge, take a right and you want to follow the pathway all the way down until you reach some pillars. Once you're at the pillars, you kind of just want to go straight through them. And then on the other side, you want to take a right and you're going to see a um, like a train station kind of area. You want to head over to the blue train in the corner, head up the ramp and there's going to be a little red dial you want to pull down here. Uh, and this is to get the, uh, the fuel set up for this train. Turn around and you want to head back down and you want to follow the pipe along the floor. And eventually you're going to come across a uh, petrol station or a gas station. And you want to spin the crank handle that is on the pump. This will give the train some fuel. Once you've done that, you want to turn around and you want to make your way back up the hill following the pipe. So you use a bit of wood to get up. And then you'll go back to where you just flicked the original red dial on the blue train. When you're at the top, you want to flick the switch on the left hand side to turn on the, uh, the train itself. Pull the panel to the left and you want to use this switch and point it at prime and you need to hold it down till the little uh, vial fills up with the white stuff. Once that's done you want to turn the switch and you want to point it to start and hold it down until the light at the top is a solid green and not blinking. Once you've got it all up and running, turn around and we want to head back down and we are going to backtrack to CW and we're going to get ourselves another achievement. So head past the pillars that are at the bottom on the left hand side of the trains and you want to keep following this path all the way down until you reach the propeller bridge again. Now you do not need to go up the stairs on the left here, just keep going to the right and going straight forward. Once you're at the propeller bridge, you want to go across it again and you want to take a left and you want to start making to your way towards the red beam of light that is coming out of the sky. Uh, and you'll see the blue laser beam and the fire kind of hitting the floor in front of you again. Uh, enter into here, take a right and you want to go into CW's house again and you want to click the button on the door to check that he's okay. Once you've done that, you'll bag yourself an achievement for checking on CW to make sure he's okay with the power being on. So once you've got yourself this achievement, you can either stay and have a listen to what he's got to say, but I, I keep moving on here. So he rips on you a little bit for wanting a medal. I want a medal. Um, turn around, you want to exit the building and take an ever so slight right. And there's going to be a door in the corner here that we want to push. There's a red button that you want to hit and that's going to open that up. And you want to head in through those doors and you want to head up to the top of the stairs. Uh, and as you're coming up to the stairs, you'll see more of these crystal things in the area that you can use to get the story. But take a right here, take a left, and you want to head up. There is a box that can be opened. So open this one up. And then you want to grab this little switch on the side here and pull that across to plug in the battery. 
Once you've done that, we need to turn around. So take a right and we want to follow the tracks out over and we're going to go across to the water tower that is on the left hand side just here. Uh, we're going to need to flick a switch to um, set up that water flow. So once you're here, pull that switch to the right or down, whatever. <laughs> turn around uh, and then take a right back on the tracks and you want to follow this back into the building. When you are in that building, take a left, you go past more of those red crystal-y things. And now take a little bit of a right and you go down a small set of stairs. Click this button here and that's going to lower the blue laser beam thing that was shooting out the window down to the ground for you. Exit out and then you want to go head down the stairs all the way down to the bottom. Uh, and as you come out, you want to take a left and you are going to get into what is like a go-kart style thing. So where the blue laser is pointing out of, you want to go into there. And once you're in there, we want to get inside the go-kart style thing that follows the tracks. So open up the, the door and then the character is going to hop in. Uh, and you're going to need to switch off the laser first. So hit the switch in the top right hand corner. And now you'll be able to move backwards and forwards by pushing up or down on your left analog stick. So you want to exit out of this area. Now as you get the cart out of this area, you want to stop at this first lever that is just on your right here. So pull up next to it, just a little bit further forward. Exit the vehicle, uh, and then we're going to want to throw the switch just here on the right of the cart. So you want to throw it to the left, uh, and that's going to change the directions of the tracks that you've got um, that you're using. So hop back into the, um, to the cart, and then you want to turn around and we want to reverse. So you have to push down on the stick to reverse which is strange because it changes the way that you'd normally walk backwards and forwards. Anyway, you want to reverse up so you can see the red beam. And then you want to hit the switch in the top right. And now you'll have control of the laser beam pointer on the front. And you want to aim that, and the controls are inverted so it confused the hell out of me. Uh, you want to aim that at the, uh, the red beam here. And you want to push the button to switch on the laser. If you miss, you can just kind of move it around. But eventually you'll hit the laser and you'll get a bit of an explosion. Beam is now gone. Hit the switch in the top right to power off the laser and then you'll be back in control of your parts and you want to move forward. Now from this point onwards we want to drive forward as far as we possibly can until we reach a hut, uh, like a mineshaft style kind of thing. Uh, you'll see on the right some more of the story crystals that you can interact with as well if you need to do so. But as you come up to this piece here, just where this hut is, you want to hop out and you want to hit the switch behind you. So you want to flip the tracks again to get out of the cart, turn around to your left and you want to pull this one to the right. Uh, and then once you've done that, you want to get back into your cart uh, and we're going to do a bit more reversing. So for this part, we're now going to need to reverse back until you hit the next lever. Do not go across the T-junction itself. Just kind of stop a little bit before it and then you want to hit the switch. So hop out pull the switch to the other side and that's going to redirect the track. And once you've thrown that sh switch, hop back into the car again. And we're going to reverse a little bit more. So turn around and you want to reverse back as far as the next lever. We're not going to need to pull that lever. We just need to reverse back. Now we're going to look at these rocks over here on the, the left hand side. So hit the switch take control of your laser and you want to point it at those rocks that we just discussed and you'll see they glow like a little light red around them. Hit the button and that's actually going to get rid of those rocks. Turn off your laser once you've done that and then we're going to do a little bit more reversing. So reverse back until you reach the mine shaft that is just here. Once you've done that, you want to go forward uh, and the track's already set to the right direction, so just keep on going. I'm not sure how that works, but um, anyway, keep going forward and you want to go up the hill and you're going to want to make a stop by the large rock that is at the top just here. So keep on going up. Once you're there, get out of the car. Now that you're out, you want to make your way across to the door at the back. You want to just slide it open. So give it a quick push 
and you're going to see more of the rocks at the back that you're going to want to shoot at. So head back to your cart. You might need to pull forward a little bit potentially. Uh, I think I do in the in this clip, but just kind of go forward a little bit more, hit the switch, and you want to point your laser through the doorway that you've just opened. There are more of those rocks that are at the back of the, the actual area that you need to destroy, so the red glowing rocks, uh, and they're a little bit tricky to hit, but you might need to readjust yourself. Uh, yeah, I actually have to readjust. Uh, but yeah, pull forward, shoot the laser through the door, and when the rocks are gone, uh, we will progress on. Okay, so now that they've been destroyed, switch off your laser, uh, and we now need to get out of the cart. So hop on out, uh, and then we want to, well, I went out the front of the car for some reason. Uh, head into the area where you destroyed the rocks, and you want to kind of go into the tunnel, and then you're going to go into this purple area, and you're going to get teleported to a new location. Okay, so now that we're in this new area, take a left, and we're going to follow the pathway around, but you want to hug a right at the stuff covered in blankets. And you want to go up to the top of the hill. At the top of this hill, you are going to go across to a red container at the back. You need to throw the switch to the left, uh, and this is going to switch the track. Or, you know, you can just struggle like I do for some reason. Uh, but once you've thrown the switch, you then want to open the red door that is right next to you. Uh, you want to give that a quick pull, uh, and that's going to open up the tracks for later in the game when you're on the minecart again. Turn around, and you want to follow the path back to the yellow box, and then you want to walk up the ledge just there and you want to get into the the uh, the digger thing hit the button to the left and it's going to take you all the way down to the bottom of the area uh, and you're going to be kind of near the train station from earlier once it's stopped you want to get out and you want to go down the 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 wood just here once you're off the roof you want to take a left and you're going to go past these two wooden huts just here and then along the way you're going to find a cabinet inside that cabinet you want to look at the yellow switch and you want to throw that one upwards as that's going to power up the way to get out of this area. So take a look to your left and then you're going to go into the garage that is just here and you want to walk forward and you're going to see a whole bunch of license plates hanging on the wall. Now these license plates are key to one of the puzzles that are coming up later in the game. These the number plates tend to have the same information on it each time, but there may be more or different um, state number plates on the wall. So what I'd recommend is that you take a picture of this these number plates. There's a likely, high likely chance you won't have the same number plates on the wall as me, but some of them will be the same. So take a picture. What I'll do is I'll post the answers to the puzzles that I know of so far down in the comments section uh, and in the description. If you find that you've got an additional number plate from a different state that is not here, feel free to add it into the comments section below for others to utilize later. But the aim of the puzzle is that you will have a alphanumeric kind of translation uh, using the old T9 mobile um, SMS kind of style buttons. Like, you know, where you had a Nokia 3310 and you'd have to push um, number two to get B. Okay, so you want to turn around and you want to hit the green button that's on the wall behind you to open the garage door. Just take a picture of those license plates if you haven't already before you do so. Now, as you exit this area, you want to take a look to the left. There is a bridge you want to go across where you see the bug fly away from. Um, there is a pay phone. It is a rotary phone as well. Now, what we were just mentioning about the license plates, you can use this as your clue to solve this. So the number one contains no numbers, but two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine are all relation to different alphabet, uh, alpha, alphabet characters. What am I on about? Anyway, exit this area, and you want to go back towards the trains from earlier, up the red ramp, and then you want to cross over to the other side. Uh, and as you come through this area, you go see a red building at the back. You want to enter this building and immediately exit to the left. After you've exited the building, you want to stay to the right and you want to keep making your way up the hill. And as you get to the top, you're going to see a mine shaft in front of you with a wire running towards it. Take a right and you want to enter this area. Uh, and then you want to use this pad on the wall. And we're going to want to enter a numeric code. Surprise. Push six, three, four, one. And it will turn green once you've entered the right code. I really struggled with that for some reason. And you want to open this doorway just here. 
Now on the inside of this area to your left there is a projector which you can cycle through the images for. Um, we'll come back here though later on for a easter egg. So this projector is going to give you something funky later and it's also going to give you an achievement just not at this time. So as you can see I'm having a great time playing with it. Now you want to exit the building behind you. You need to turn the latch at the top first of all to unlock the door and then use the handle uh, and you are going to exit out. There's also another story crystal here where you can learn about one of the ladies of Hanarath. And then once you're back in this area, you want to take a right and you want to go over to the tracks and pass the mine shaft on your right hand side. Now you want to throw the lever that is in front of those red glowy rocks to the left as you're going to need to get your cart from earlier and then you want to backtrack to this section. So head forward but into the village. We're going to go back and get that later. Uh, and you want to go past the mining building and you want to keep walking forward and you want to make your way down to the river on the far end of this field. So we're now closing in on the propeller bridge again. You want to pull the left hand side of the propeller all the way down now and then you're going to want to hit the switch that is just behind you so throw it to the left and that's going to turn the walkway to the left one more time for you. Turn around and we're going to need to backtrack up to the um, railway bridge ahead of you. Okay, so once you're at the tracks, you want to just keep going straight forward. Uh, and as you're going through, you're going to take a bit of a left. And we're going to be going back to the house that we were in earlier, where I mentioned about the Easter egg. So keep walking forward. Uh, and you're going to eventually see the house that's in front of you. Surprise. Make your way up the ramp. And then you want to go into the house. Uh, this is Farley's house. And then you want to keep going through the building. Uh, and then as you exit out, you want to stay to the right and you want to go through and there's going to be a set of stairs that you can climb. So make your way up those stairs and you're going to follow this path to a purple rock. Touch this purple rock and it's going to teleport you through to a new location. Okay, so now that you're on the other side, we want to take a left and we're going to follow this pathway down. Uh, and you're going to be above the propeller bridge that we were at earlier. So you want to make your way across the bridge and then you want to hit a switch on the right hand side that is going to cause a set of stairs to fall down, uh, establishing a way to get back up on top um, later on in the game if you move the bridge again. Turn around and cross back over and then you're going to go into this little hut and you want to touch the purple stone that is inside the hut. Again, this is going to teleport you to a new location. And once you're here, you want to make your way up to the top, and we're going to follow this path all the way down to a green hut. Now we're at the green hut, hit the little white panel on the wall on the side and you want to push 406 on the pad and that's going to open up the door on the left for you. So type that in. Uh, and if it's correct it will turn green, this door will open. Now as you enter in you can open the door on the left hand side if you choose to. Um, for some reason I choose to go back and uh, do it later. Now this is a key part of the puzzle, we were talking about the license plates earlier. You want to pick up this compass and holding the right trigger you'll be able to spin it around and there's going to be a post-it note on the bottom. This is going to contain this state. Mine is Minnesota, yours will be something completely different. Now this relates to the license plates that you saw on the wall in the garage earlier. So for me to progress forward in the game I need to use the Minnesota license plate and translate that to numbers in a second. Okay, so that's part of that puzzle. Um, you need to have that information to make sure that you can uh, go forward. So what I do here is I do a little bit of a backtrack and I open up the wooden door just over here. Um, you don't need to go out of it, we'll need to open just for later on. You want to go across to the green door that was next to the desk and you want to open this one up. 
and you want to exit out of this door and you want to make your way down the ramp. Now as you head down this hill you want to take a left and you want to follow the pathway along past the pillars. We'll come back to these a bit later on in the game. But keep moving forward uh, and you're going to see a set of stone steps that are on the left hand side. You want to make your way up these stone steps. Uh, and now we're going to go and use the metal steps that we lowered earlier in the game to get back on top of the bridge. And as you get to the top you want to take a left, a very sharp left, and you want to follow the pathway along just here. And eventually you're going to come across our puzzle that I keep talking about. So follow the pathway along and once we get there uh, I'll do a bit more explaining. Okay, so to re-emphasize, this puzzle, puzzle is totally random. It will not be the same as it is for you uh, as it is for me. So on the bottom of the compass, I had Minnesota. 1R2958 was the license plate in the garage. Uh, and then that translates into 172958, which I must dial in on the rotary phone just in front of me. The number one is in the top right-hand corner and it goes around anti-clockwise to all of the other numbers. On the, on the screen I've actually gone and posted up the, uh, the translations of the letters to numbers to give you guys a bit of a hand and I'll post all of the solutions that I know of below in the uh, description and in the comment section. I ask that you guys also if you find something that is not within my list to put it into the comment section to help out the other community, the achievement community as well. So. For me, I need to dial in the numbers 172958 and once that is done, the light will go green and it will enable the lift to the right of me. Again, re-emphasize, this will not necessarily be the same solution for you. Okay, so now that we're done with that puzzle, we want to turn around and we want to hit the button at the top. And that's going to bring us in a lift. Thank you very much. And then we want to head down. So click the down button. We'll click it once. And then you want to click it a second time. And we're going to go even further down. Now when we're at the bottom just here. You want to turn around. And you want to make your way to the back of the area. By the gramophone take a right. And you want to go up. And there is going to be a crank handle that you're going to want to spin. This is going to open up a gate on the floor above you. This is going to take you to a tree eventually. Now make your way out of this room and back to the lift. You want to go up one floor. Once you're at the top, you want to exit out of the wooden door that is on your right. You might want to unlock it if you haven't already. And then just immediately on your left, there is a, tr a room with a tree. This is the tree that we set up to flow some water into earlier. And on the back of the tree, there is a hole to go down. Uh, and you want to follow this pathway all the way into the end. And you're going to walk into a big room with something called the heart. Uh, this is something that we have to tend to, uh, to get the necessary way off of the, uh, the cube. So head down and we want to hit the switch at the bottom and that is going to bag you an achievement for connecting the section to the heart, uh, which I believe is earth in this case. Uh, and then once you've done that we want to get you out of this area. So we want to head up the stairs. And then you want to exit back out of the tree the same way you came in, following that pipe. As you get to the top, take a right past the tree and then you want to go out the metal grate that is just in front of you. Take a right from here and then you want to take a left and go inside the wooden door and then you want to make your way past the desk again and we're going to go out the building and you want to make your way down the wooden planks that we've got and at the bottom of here we are going to want to take a left turn and we're going to follow the pathway back to the propeller bridge. Okay, so as you're going halfway along, take the stone steps on the left up and, and you want to follow the path forward and as you eventually hit some metal steps that you're going to need to go up, take the metal steps up, take a left once you uh, reach the end of the bridge 
uh, and you want to follow the path to the left and stay hanging to the left as well you'll see a waterfall in the distance if you're going the right way uh, and you want to touch a purple stone that is at the very end by these wooden planks and that's going to teleport you to a new section in the map now in this area you are just going to want to follow the pathway all the way down until the end And as you get to the end, there's going to be this kind of broken orb. Go past it and you want to hit the button to slide this thing here just down, which you're going to use later. And then you turn around and we want to use something I believe is called the seed, or they're called swappers. You're going to pull the lever on it and it's going to open up a little crystal on the side. There's a button, uh, a button that you need to push. And that's going to teleport you to a completely different world altogether. Now these are the slightly long loading screens, so I'll do my best to cut them short as much as possible for this video. Okay, so now we're in a new world called Capta, uh, which is not the same as Earth. This is one of the places that are joined together as part of the story. Uh, so you want to make your way across the first part of the bridge. At the middle of the bridge you want to head down and there is a valve that you want to spin. So give a quick turn. Uh, and then you want to head back up onto the bridge. Staying in the middle you'll find a lever that you want to throw to the right. And that's going to cause the bridge that you're on to turn. Once you've done that you want to make your way down to the end. Uh, and on the end of here there is a red thing that you're going to need to just push or touch. Uh, and that's going to fall over to the right. Once you've done that, you want to turn around and you want to make your way down a lot of stairs. As you're going along the path, you're going to go up some of the golden stairs and you want to keep following the small walkways through the cave. It's pretty much a linear path the whole way uh, and eventually you are going to come across a slightly open area, which is just here. Uh, now you'll see a red beam going off in the distance. Our aim will be to destroy that one eventually. So you want to make your way across this area and then kind of past this statue here. Uh, and you want to make your way up to the red beam. So head up the stairs on the left hand side. You can't actually go in the building on your right. Uh, you want to go forward and into this kind of ball and there's going to be another one of these kind of sciencey machines or seeds. You want to throw that switch to the right and you want to hit the button on this one and it's going to teleport you back to Hunra. Okay, so now we're back in uh, the Hunrath area. We want to turn around and we want to go up the stairs and you want to exit out the door just here. Now we're going to make a, a bit of a backtrack and we're going to go get our cart. So from here, take a right, follow the tracks to the right. And then at this point just here where the crossroad is, turn right and keep walking up towards these kind of purple mountains in the distance. And at the top of here, you are going to find the minecart thingy that we were using earlier. And you want to get into that one and we are going to do a spot of reversing. So for this part you're going to need to reverse back as far as you can. Eventually you're going to hit some red rocks where you cannot go any further. So just keep reversing uh, and eventually to you hit that point where you'll stop. And then you'll need to go forward from that point. So reverse all the way. At this point you want to go forward and it's going to turn to the right automatically because we hit the switches earlier in the game and you want to keep driving forward until you enter a uh, like a, one of the buildings so it's going to take a left here and then it's going to take another left and you're going to go into this building just here uh, and in front of you is going to be another one of those science machines along the way so halfway down kind of when you start to reach these wooden boards you'll pull forward see the science machine just in front of you or the seed as it's called throw the switch to the left and it's going to be the button and then you hit the button and it's going to teleport you to the next area okay so once we've walked back in we want to back up a little bit with the cart and you can see the red laser going off in the distance uh, as previously just 
mentioned to you guys, you know, we've got to destroy all of these red laser beams that are going on. So flick the switch on. You want to point your laser to the, the left, look out the window, and then you want to hit the bottom at the, at the button at the bottom, and that's going to shoot across, and it's going to take out that red laser. Once you've done that, turn off your laser beam, and you want to pull forward, and you want to use the seed again to transport yourself back to the, next, uh, the previous area. Okay, so when you are back in, we are going to need to back out of this area. So, using your cart, put it in reverse, and we want to move out. So keep following the track all the way back until you get out. Uh, and once you're done with that, you can actually get out of the cart, uh, as we no longer need it. So hop on out, and glitch out for some reason. Heading to the building to the right, and we're going to head down the stairs, and we're going to use the science machine, or the teleporter whatever you want to call it, flip the switch to the right and you're going to hit the button and you're going to get teleported to a new location. Okay, so once you've warped into the new area, you want to turn around and we want to go up the stairs just behind you. And then you want to continue forward across to the other side and you want to go down the stairs. And then across in the far corner there are more stairs that you will need to climb up. So make your way to those stairs and you want to climb up as far as possible. And when you're at the top, you're going to see these big chains in front of you. This means you're in the right location. Uh, you want to head down the stairs and start walking past this big machine. So head to the back where the big cog is. Uh, and just on the left, you're going to find a opening in the wall. You can enter here. And then you want to look at this kind of wheelie kind of thing in front of you. And you want to take a left, go across the bridge that's there. At any side, it doesn't matter. Turn around and you want to go down the stairs. And then you want to go down the stairs that are at the, the bottom there. And then you want to just go around this middle piece and walk down some more stairs. At the bottom there is a valve that you're going to need to rotate. Rotate that valve and then you want to give that lever on the top a pull to the left. And once you've done that you want to pull the actual valve to the right one more time. Uh, and that's going to set this machine in motion. It's going to get parts of it up and moving as you can see below. Head back up one flight of stairs and then at the top you want to give this another spin. Okay, and that's going to get the second part of the machine up and working and then you want to make your way back up to the top. Now as you come up to the top, you're going to see that the this thing in front of you is spinning. Uh, we're going to want to make our way around to the other side and walk up the stairs, and we need to wait for this thing to stop spinning. Okay, so I'm going to cut this section short because it takes a little while to scroll down. You want to click on the circle in front of you, and then you want to hit the switch on this first kind of moving thing to connect the pistons together. You want to pull down the uh, switch and then you want to do the same for the one at the bottom right hand corner. You then need to pull that switch also to the, the left uh, and then you want to pull it into the middle as well to connect the third piston. And then the same again one more time for the fourth one to pull the switch up to the top uh, and then you want to pull it down into the middle to connect it to the fourth one. Okay, so from this machine we want to turn around and we want to get out of this area. So once you're done with that puzzle, turn around from where you're looking and you want to exit out through the tiny little gap and we're going to go on a bit of a, a, bit of a hike. So go past the metal stairs that are just here and you want to go up the stairs on the other side and you want to follow this pathway for quite some time. So keep following it forward um, and I will get back to you in a second. Okay, so now we're coming up on the area which is kind of quite open with lots of pillars. You're at the bottom of the stairs, you actually want to take a sharp left and there's going to be a kind of little hidden walkway along here and you want to follow this around and into a cave and you want to take a right through the cave and you want to keep following this path and eventually you're going to end back up on the bridge that we were using at the very start of the game. 
Once you're at that bridge, you want to walk on to the first part and head to the middle section. When you're at the middle section, you want to throw the lever to the to the right, I believe. Um, and what that will do is that will move the bridge to point towards one of those teleporting stones. So hit the switch, move it to the right, look to your right, and you want to make your way to the end of the bridge and touch the stone at the end, and you'll be teleported to a new location. At this new location, walk forward, and there's a set of stairs on your left. Go up, uh, and then you want to go up some more stairs, and then a set of more stairs. And when you're at the top, there is going to be a trolley that you need to get into. You want to throw that switch across, and you want to ride the trolley all the way to the end. So once you're at the bottom of these stairs and there's a wheel in front of you, you want to take a right down this very well hidden staircase uh, and you want to follow this pathway as far as long as possible. When you reach this area, this is like a bottom of a boat or something like that, the metal area, make your way to the end, take a left and you want to go up the stairs. Take a quick left and you want to go into the room ahead of you and at this kind of intersection here you want to face to the left and you want to go up the stairs just to just here uh, and then you want to take a right and you'll see a wooden walkway in front of you. You're going to want to go up the wooden walkway and you want to follow this all the way to the end. Uh, as you're going along you are going to be going underneath things like bones and stuff. That's how you'll know you're along the right track. This part is pretty linear. So after you've gone past the first set of bones, just to your left there is a, another set of stairs that are going down underneath a, another rib cage. But at the end of here you're going to find a wall that you can touch and it's going to teleport you somewhere else. Once you're in this area you want to make your way up the stairs. You want to take a right and you want to keep following the path forward and then just on your left there is going to be a, another set of stairs that you're going to need to climb up to the top of. Once you're up to the top of this section walk the way to the end and then just behind you there's going to be more stairs for you to go up. At the top here take a right don't go into that room you want to keep going to the top when you reach these kind of glowing nut thingies in front of you I think they're called seeds you want to turn around and you want to keep climbing more stairs. As you get up to the top you want to follow the pathway around and through like a little cavern and there's going to be some more stairs this area is primarily built on stairs and to your right you want to walk into this room here and you're going to see another large machine in front of you. Make your way down the stairs into the middle of the area and then you can climb the stairs to the top of the machine. Uh, and at the top of the machine you're going to find a, a trolley. We want to get onto that trolley and then you want to throw the switch on the trolley to make it go across a long chain. Now that you're on the other side, you want to head down and you're on a walkway. Take a left, so anywhere you can go, but immediately take a left halfway along. There's going to be a switch you can throw, uh, and this is going to allow you to get in and out of this area quite easy. That you to use that trolley again. Head up the stairs, take a left, and you want to follow this all the way to the end. There is going to be a lift. Throw the switch to make the lift go down.
Now we want to enter the room ahead of us and we're going to need to rotate this room around. So we want to hop on and use the science machine that's just in front of us to teleport us out into Panrath again. So hit the button and that's going to move us into a new location. Uh, we're going to be back by the area where the pillars are. So from the machine, turn around and we want to make our way down the stairs or the slope that's behind us. Follow the pathway around, walk down a little bit further and you'll be by the trains again. Make your way down the hill and then cross to the pillars and you'll see a button on this pillar. And when you push this button, it's going to cause the thing in front of you to rotate uh, ever so slightly. We're going to need to rotate that a few times, so it's four times in total. And actually you're going to change the room in the other world as well. So when you're rotating this, it's changing the environment in the other location. So push the button four times in total. Uh, and when we've done that, we want to make our way back up to the teleporter. Okay, so when we're back at the teleporter, Throw the switch, hit the button, and we're going to teleport back into the uh, other world, Capita, I think it's called. So hit the button, and that's going to move you over. Uh, and then when we're in this area, we're going to need to do some more stuff. So from here, we need to turn around. You want to go up the ramp, and then there's a set of stairs in front of you. You want to go up to the top of these stairs, and you want to follow into the room. You want to lift up the door latch just here, and you want to push the door open of a pain for me for some reason here and we're going to make our way down at this corridor and then we're going to be in a quite a large kind of open area go across to the other side and we want to make our way down the stairs that are in front of us we then want to take a left and we're going to go down the stairs and at the bottom of the stairs we want to take a right and we want to follow the path all the way back um, for some way so head down the slope walk on the wooden planks and you want to head down as far as you can and follow the path uh, to the end. Okay, so as we come into this open area, we want to make our way across to the other side, not kind of look up the stairs like I did. And you want to make your way up to the top of the very large set of stairs in front of you. So continue all the way up, uh, do a spot more climbing. Up the second step, take a left at the top and climb up some more. And then you want to go through to the right and up more stairs. And then a sharp right at the top and then up some more stairs. And to the left and you're going to find some more stairs. And then we're going to be back at the machine that we were at earlier, where we just kind of uh, flip the stairs down. So make our way back down and we want to go past the stairwell just here. And we want to go behind the machine, don't go up the stairs just yet. And you want to actually go back to the circle device that we were using earlier. And then we're going to need to point the circle device at the bottom left, um, the bottom left one, back out like I did for some reason. Uh, pull the lever down, and then you want to flip the switch into the middle of the circle, and then it's going to let go of the, uh, the piston, and it's going to stop that part of the machine from working. Once you've done that, you want to back out, and we're going to do to do some backtracking. So lots of backtracking in this game, I do apologise. You want to make our way back, you want to go up the stairs, you want to follow the pathway around as far as you possibly can. As you enter this kind of large area, we want to make our way across to the other side. Uh, there is a set of very well hidden stairs by this pillar, we've used them a couple of times now. And you want to make your way down and you want to follow the path until you reach a metal room. And then you want to make your way to the back of this metal area and on the end you're going to find the same stairs that we've used a few times now. Make your way to the top, you want to enter the room just slightly to your left. And when you're in here you want to take a right and you want to go up the stairs. And you want to come into this room just here. 
Follow the pathway around to the left and you'll see an opening in the wall. You want to enter this opening and you want to follow the pathway down and you're going to come into this wooden area with the science machine again. Head down to the science machine and you want to give it a quick use. Okay, so now we're back in Hanrath and we want to rotate this uh, device that we're on again. So, once you're done with the machine, turn around and you want to make your way down the ramp. And to your left, there'll be another ramp going down. When you're on the hill, you want to take a left and follow it down to the bottom and you're going to find a the pillars again. And we want to hit this button on the wall twice. So hit it once, let it stop rotating and then press it again afterwards. Okay, and once you've pushed it a second time, you can backtrack up now. So we want to turn around and we want to go back up the hill. At the top, take a right and then we're going to take a right again and we want to go up the stairs and we want to use the machine to teleport us back into the other world. Okay, and because we rotated that piece, we now can access a new area. So from here, we'll turn around and you'll see that it is opened up a little bit. We can now go down into this cave just here. So make your way down, you go into a very bug filled cave. When you come to this fence, take a right, follow the pathway around, you're in a bit of a bug hive. At the top you want to open up this door just here. So lift the latch, push the door open, but we're not going to go through it, we're just going to back away from it. Turn around, and then we want to head back down to the fence, take a right at the T-junction, and you want to keep making your way forward. So as you're coming through this area, you see lots of bugs coming in. As you reach this fence just here, you want to go left and you want to go down to this kind of little area with a stool. And on this uh, desk in front of you, there's one, a piece of law that you can read, but then pick up this one here. This number is something that you'll need to memorize. So take a picture. This number is different every single playthrough. It will be different on yours as it's not the same in mine, so don't write down my number. Take a picture of your one. Because you're going to need this to get an achievement. Uh, as well as to keep the game progressing forward. Yep, this is random every time. Uh, and then on the table next to that, there is also more information about the story if you would like to read that. So yeah, take a picture. Don't try and memorize it, uh, write it down. Okay, once you're done staring at the number, turn around and we wanna make our way back to the machine from earlier. So make your way up the hill and you wanna follow the path straight through the area, past all of the bugs. They don't hurt you anyway, so. Uh, past the fence, you want to go down the slope and then you want to go back into the left and you want to go up the stairs and you want to use the teleportation device again to shift you back to Hanrath. Okay, so now that we're back in Hanrath, we want to turn around from the science machine and we want to make our way down the slope. Follow it to the right, go down even further and we want to go back down to the pillars. At the pillars, you want to push the button twice. So push it once, let it finish rotating, push it a second time, uh, and then we're going to want to go back to the teleporter after this. So to get back to the teleporter, turn around and you want to walk up the hill, and then you want to walk up the wooden planks. Take a right and you want to follow it to the end and you want to go up into the machine, pull the lever and hit the button to teleport back to the other location. Okay, so now that we're back in this area, we want to turn around and then you want to head down and we're going to be back by the lift so we've rotated the uh, the room full circle pull the switch to the left and this is going to take the lift all the way back up to the top
now that you're at the top, you want to take a right, then you want to head down, and then you want to go down the right set of stairs just here, and you're going to see this floating kind of electrical box. So, we now need to enter the very long number that was random from the desk. So, type in the numbers on each button. Just be careful, it is a bit of a pain. There is a delete button at the bottom, and then there is an enter button at the thing, at the, just below that. Um, but you need to type in the very long number that was randomized uh, from the earlier part of the game. So type that in, uh, and then at the bottom click the enter button once you are done. Check the LEDs just to make sure it's right before you go ahead and hit that button. And if everything's gone to plan, once you've put that uh, code in, that box is now going to fall down. You're going to bag yourself the achievement as well called Sweet Revenge uh, for destroying uh, the box of infinite complexity. Go down, and we're going to go back and actually use the box of infinite complexity. So you're going to head into the room, past the cogs again, and it's going to be on these rocks just here. And this time around, we're going to enter some different uh, information. So now we're going to need to enter another number into the machine. That number is 011899889911971971253. I've left the number in the top of the corner of the screen, so in the top left. Uh, but type in the number, and then once you're done, hit the enter key at the end of it. This can be fiddly, so if you make a mistake, use the back button above the enter key. Don't get the two mixed up, and you will be able to delete the previous number. Now we have one more code to enter, again it's on the screen. We need to type in 0 16 times and then 1017. So that's 16 zeros, 1017. Now this is going to be part of getting progress forward to the story and getting some achievements. So once you have done that, we want to turn around. We're going to backtrack a little bit and we want to go up the metal stairs that are just on our right hand side. Go up and we want to take a left and we want to go into the lift and you want to take the lift down.
then you want to head up the stairs in front of you and you want to use the teleporter device to move you back into Hanra. Okay, so now that we're here, it's time for our next achievement. So the easter egg we spoke about earlier. So turn around, we want to walk down the slope. Get off of the uh, metal grate by walking down the hill. Now, instead of going to the pillars this time, we want to take a right and we want to go past in between the trains. Uh, and at the back is the red building from earlier. So go up the slope, enter the door on the right and then take an immediate left and we want to follow this hill up to the top. And as you're coming up to the top, you're going to see a kind of like a mine shaft in front of you. And this is going to take you into somebody's house again. So uh, you want to walk into there. So it's Farley's house. You want to enter the mine shaft, go through the door. And on the left hand side, you're going to see a projector. And you'll want to hit that switch. And that is going to put up a bit of a thank you message and an Easter egg to say thank you for the backers for this game. This is going to bag you the achievement. Excellent. Once you're done with that, we want to exit out the house via the mine shaft. And we're going to want to head back to the teleporter. So start making your way down the hill. And as you're coming down the hill, you want to enter the red building on your left. Immediately exit for the right. And we want to go through the trains. So down the slope on the left. Through the trains. And then as you get to the other side, you want to take a left. And you want to go back up the hill. And you want to reuse the teleporter machine that is inside the big wooden ball. So head up, take a right. And then it's on the left. And then you want to use the machine. Okay, now that you're back, you want to turn around from the teleporter. And you want to go up the stairs and we're going to go through the buggy place again, I believe it is. So walk through the area and you're going to see lots of bugs flying everywhere. Take a left, the fence, and you want to take a right immediately straight after. Follow the walkway around and then at this fence here, you want to stay on the right hand side and you want to keep going down. And as you get to the bottom, you're going to keep walking forward through this area. Get a bit of a loading delay. Uh, and then as you come into this place, you want to look up. So you want to go to the right, you want to go up the slope. And when you hit the top, you want to look to your right. You're going to see a wheel. You can squeeze through this gap just here. Take a right again as you walk into this area and keep looking around to the right. And eventually you'll see a hole going into a tree. Go down into here and we're now going to collect the uh, heart up to this uh, to this world. So you want to head down and you want to keep going down. Uh, and then at the bottom you're going to see the heart in front of you. Uh, and you want to head down the stairs and then there is a lever that is in front of the heart. And you want to give that a twist. And you'll bag yourself the achievement for helping out this heart. Chain my heart. Okay, so that's the captain heart connected, and now we want to exit back out. So you want to go up the stairs, and you want to go out the door at the top, and out through the, uh, the tree doorway. And once you're back at the top, you want to squeeze through the wheel again. You want to take a left and you want to follow it down. And as you're coming down, you want to walk into the green cave that's in front of you, where all of the insects are flying around. And you just ignore them. Uh, and you want to keep following the path straight forward. Take a left and you want to keep going forward. Uh, and as you kind of get up, you want to take another left. And as you kind of keep going around, you want to keep going straight forward. You want to take a left at the fence here. You want to take a right at the top. We're going to go back to the teleportation device. So make your way down the stairs. And then when you're at the teleportation device, ignore it this time. You want to go past it and you want to take the lift up. Uh, 
And now that you're at the top, you want to exit out and you're going to take the first right off the bridge you want to head down the stairs. Once you're done with that, you want to go past and then you go up the stairs on the other side and you've got the chains machine on your left hand side. You want to keep following the path across and you want to go down the stairs, so on the other side, uh, and you want to follow the stairs as far down as possible as you can go. Now that you're in this open area, you want to make your way across to the far side uh, and you'll see a kind of pillar in front of you. These are the super hidden stairs again and you want to go down these stairs to the bottom and you want to keep following the path as far forward as possible. You'll go into a metal kind of container thing. And as you're going through the container, you want to make your way to the back. And at the back, you want to take a left. You want to go up the stairs. Once you reach the top of the stairs, take a little bit of a left and go into the room in front of you. At this intersection, you want to take a look to your left. And you want to go up the stairs just here. At the top of the stairs, take a right. And then you're going to follow the walkway to the end and go underneath all the things like the bones again. After you've passed the second set of bones, take the stairs down and you're going to go underneath the rib cage, and you want to touch the wall that is to your right and it's going to teleport you to a location. Once you've been teleported in, you want to go up the stairs that are in front of you, take a right and you want to keep following this path, and then you want to take a left and you want to go up the stairs just here. As you kind of get to the top of this stairs, you want to take a left again and go up even higher. And then you want to take a right, don't go up any higher, you want to go into this area and you want to use this teleporter just in front of you. Slightly different to the others, you have to pull the thing down and then push the button behind it. So now we are in a new location, I believe this is called Mare. Uh, from that teleporter you want to turn around and you're going to see this puzzle thing behind you. Now walk over to it and it'll open automatically and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to destroy the blue lines that are on the, the thing and you just do that by clicking on them. It can be a little fiddly just but click on them. Once they're all gone you want to look up and you want to press the button just here and that's going to open a gate to your left hand side that you can't just reach yet. Turn around and you want to use the machine to teleport you back to the captar area. And now that you've hit that switch and you're back in this area, we want to turn around and you're going to go up the steps that are just behind you. And we want to go down the steps as far as you possibly can. Now as you're coming down these steps on the right hand side, you're going to want to take a, yeah, take a quick right. And as you kind of come into this area here, you're going to see a very interesting looking wall in front of you. Looks a bit out of place. You want to climb down the stairs and you want to go touch that wall and it's going to move you back into the area where the bones are. And you want to follow the path uh, all the way back to the top. When you're back at the top, you're going to want to head down the other side and you're going to go down some uh, stairs and then some wooden planks. Uh, and as you get off the wooden planks, you want to take a right. Uh, and as you take that right, walk forward a little bit and then you'll be able to take a left and you want to go down some stairs in this area. So just here, take a left, go down. When you're at the bottom, you want to take a right and you want to continue forward. And you're going to go across to where this machine just is here and you want to go down the stairs. 
At the bottom of here, take a right and make your way to the end, and you're going to follow the wooden walkway as far down as you can. Now that you're at the end of the wooden walkway, you want to keep making your way forward to the top of the stairs in front of you, and we're going to go use a teleporter in a second. And at the top of the stairs, take a left, and you want to go up the stairs. Once you reach the top by this kind of weird fishy statue, take a left, and there is a ball at the end. You want to go into here and you want to use the teleportation device. Okay, and once you've used that teleporter, you'll be back in Hanrath. Turn around and you want to go up the stairs, go out the door. And we're going to continue forward across the other side and there's some stairs in front of you that you want to take up. Take a left and we're going to follow the pathway around past the water tower. And you want to keep walking around and eventually you are going to come to a wooden door on your left hand side. You want to enter that wooden door and then you want to exit out of the right green door. And you want to follow this pathway here along kind of about three quarters of the way along to you reach some of the orange um, canopies. It's just after this cave here in front of us. Now when you reach a section, take a left and you want to go down the slope and just on your left hand side you're going to see a, another teleporter in a kind of a green area. You want to pull down that lid and you want to hit that button to walk you through to the location, the next location. Okay, so from that device, we want to take a right and we want to make our way down the slope. As you're coming down the slope, hang a left and we're going to go through the gate that we just opened up recently. And at this point here, we want to take a right as we cannot go up the bridge just yet. Uh, you'll make your way up, go past the lights just here. You want to take a left and you want to continue upwards. And there's going to be a teleporter in front of you. You want to switch locations with this one, so pull it down, hit the button. And from this one then you want to turn around and you want to walk forward across the deserty bit and there's going to be a, another teleporter just in front of you. You'll notice those two teleporters to switch places and you want to use this one here. So pull the switch to the left and the button and teleport again. Alright and now we've reported back into this area again one more time. We want to turn around and we want to head to the right and what we've gone and done is we've introduced a bridge into the area so take a left at the rock continue down and you want to go through the grates uh, the gate that we opened earlier take a right and as you come up by the light take a left it's a sharp one and continue upwards but you'll now see that the teleporter is gone and we now have a rock in place to allow us across so cross over to the other side enter the forest area and stay to the left and you want to come up this hill and you're going to enter into a spaceship And as you enter the spaceship on the right hand side, come down to the end and you're going to see a like a joystick. If you take control of that, you're going to actually start moving a laser around. It's a familiar blue laser and you can see the red laser in the distance that you need to destroy. So kind of like a hammer of dawn, position the blue laser until it goes over the top of the red one. You'll get an explosion when you've done it right, uh, allowing you to progress forward. At the same time, if you wish to stop after destroying up, there is a bit of story where a guy is talking to you. This be unexpected. Okay, and once you're done on the spaceship, turn around and you want to head down the slope and take a left, take a right, and we want to go down to the bottom of off of the metal bridge. Continue forward, and then you want to go straight across to the other side, and you want to go past the light just on the left hand side here. Keep following the path around and down underneath the tree stump, and then you're gonna come across these metal bridges. You wanna cross over the metal bridge, you wanna go up the stairs, and you wanna keep going up. And at the end of the section, you wanna walk through the invisible wall just here, and it's gonna move you into a new area. And then you'll follow this walkway through to the end.
And at the end of this walkway, there is another invisible wall or teleporter thing that you can go through that will take you through to a new section. And you'll be back into a crashed ship. Once you're in this crashed ship, you want to head out to the left hand side. And in front of you, there is going to be a puzzle. Now, you want to draw the dots together by holding A on them and drawing lines. And you want to copy what I've drawn here. So, on the left hand side, connect the three dots together. From the top, you want to draw a zigzag shape going down to the very bottom. So left, right, left, right, left, right. Uh, and it must connect the top to the bottom. So left, right, left, and then right. And then on the far side of this part of the puzzle, you want to draw the two, uh, connect the three dots here together. Now this puzzle repeats itself over and over and over again through the actual uh, the game. So grab a picture of it quickly once you've finished it and hit the top button afterwards because you will reuse that puzzle again because it's the same puzzle to create these bridges and you do it a couple of times over. Turn around, there's another puzzle behind you and you want to input the same pattern again and push the green, uh, the blue button at the top. So now that you've done this, you want to cross over the bridge that is just newly formed uh, and then on the other side there is a teleporter. So make your way across and then you want to go ignore the first one and you want to use the second one that is at the back of the area. Do not use the first one, it will take you to the wrong place. Now there's lots of teleports coming up just to give you a warning. Uh, so once you're done with this teleporter, turn around you want to use the next one. Okay, so now that we're in this area, you want to take a quick left, turn around, and there's a red barrel. You want to go past that, and you want to hit the button and take the lift down. When you're at the bottom of the lift, you want to head up the walkway and you want to get to the top. As you're at the top of the walkway, you want to walk into this room where you'll see more teleporters. You want to use the one that is the furthest away from the door. So pull down the handle and hit the switch. Now that you're back in this area, you want to go past the two teleporters in front of you, the three of them, and you want to use the puzzle that's on the end, and you want to draw in the puzzle code for bridges again. So the little three on the side, the zigzag down the middle, and then the three on the right hand side need to all be connected together. Once you've done that and you've pressed the button on the top, that's going to spawn in a bridge just behind it. But this time around, we're going to use the teleporter that is directly behind you. So open that up and push the button. And when you're in this new area, you want to take a look to your left. Eventually. So take a look to your left and outside you'll see a button. Uh, sorry, a switch. You want to head to the other side of this switch and you want to use the left hand side. So head out, click the button, and that's going to rotate the room in front of you and it's going to move the positions of the teleporters in multiple different locations. Head back into the room and you want to use the puzzle at the end of the again to draw out the bridge pattern. Now that you've drawn that one in and you've hit the switch and that bridge has spawned in, just use the teleporter behind you. We're not going to cross that bridge just yet, we're just building bridges. Mm -hmm. 
And this next area, we're going to be back in Hanrath. So you want to turn around from where you are. And there is a bridge puzzle again that you're going to want to do. So three dotted lines on the side and the zigzag down the middle. It's the same puzzle every time for the bridge. And once you've spawned that bridge in, you're going to want to look behind you and use the teleporter that's directly behind you. So pull the lid down and hit the button. Now that we're back in this area, you want to look up and you want to turn around and you'll see a bridge is now behind you that was not there before. Cross over to the other side and we're going to want to use the teleporter on the other end. Okay, so once you've teleported in that area, you want to turn around and we want to start making our way out. So turn around, you want to cross over the bridge. You're going to see some teleporters in front of you, some science machines, as I called them. Go to the very end one, and this is the one you're going to want to use. So pull the switch, and then hit the button when it's been made available to you. Okay, so now that we are spawning back into this area, we want to make our way past the teleporters that are in front of us and we want to go across the bridge, past the puzzle. Make your way across the other side and you are going to find a, another teleporter for you to use. Now that we're back in this area, we are needing to push on. So from here, from that teleporter, don't spin around in a circle, just take a right. We'll be back in the area where we've got the three teleporters in front of us. We want to make our way across to the other side. And this time we want to use the one that's in the middle. So pull the switch on the uh, the side. For some, reason, for some reason go to the wrong side of it. Uh, and then push the button on it to move into the next location. Okay, and now we're back in this area. We turn around and you want to go across the bridge that is behind you. So make your way across to the other side. And you want to enter this room just here and you want to use a teleporter yet again. I bet you're enjoying these loading screens. Now that you've teleported into this next area, you want to turn around and you want to cross over the bridge and you want to use the first teleportation machine at the end of the bridge. So turn around, cross over and then use the first teleporter. Okay, now that we've been teleported back into this place, turn around and you want to exit out the building over the bridge and you want to cross over to the other side and you want to go through the orb thingy here and you want to keep making your way down and at the very end of this area you're going to find a lift. Now we're going to come up on a bit of a maze puzzle so make your way to the top um, to push the button to go up and when you come into this area you will see a button in front of you You've got this large circle here. So we need to teleport these sections back into other worlds so we can rotate them. Um, so they will move when they land on a certain uh, teleporter below the maze. Uh, and pushing on the buttons will actually rotate this section. Uh, so in this case, you can rotate the section four times. Once you've done that, you wanna get back on the lift and you wanna push the button twice to go down to the bottom. Now that you're at the bottom, look to your left and you're going to see a science machine in front of you. This is the one that teleports the sections out of the area, out of the maze, for allowing you to rotate them. So pull it down and you want to click the button and you'll get teleported with that maze part too. 
Okay, so now that you're back in Hanrath, you want to turn around and we're going to exit out of this orb because we now need to rotate the piece of the maze that is stacked on top of us. So head up the stairs outside on your left. At the top of the stairs, you want to take a left and you'll see the maze piece is now here. And now what you want to do is you want to click on this bottom button three times and that's going to put this piece of the puzzle into the correct position. Now this is in the right place, you want to head down the stairs and you want to go back into the orb and you want to use the teleporter that is inside the orb. So head down the stairs, take a right and then you want to use the machine. And now that you're back in the area, you want to turn around and you want to take the lift up sorry, to the left. Exit out onto the lift and you want to push the button twice, that's going to take you all the way up. And when you reach the top, on the left hand side, you're going to see a switch, which is allowing us to rotate the maze. So you want to push the button, the left one, and that's going to move the circles around as you can see below. And what it will do is it will position the shapes underneath you. Push that twice, and that's going to get the piece that we need to fix into the location next. Sorry, three times. And once you've done that, you want to turn around and you want to push down on the lift. And you want to go down again. When you're at the bottom, make your way into the tunnel and use the teleporter. Okay. And once you're in this area, you want to exit out, you want to take a left, you want to go up the stairs, or miss the stairs like I do for some reason. Go up the stairs, and at the top, we want to take a right this time. You want to follow the cave through, and you want to keep going down to the end, and eventually you're going to find a door. At the end of the area, you want to open up the door by lifting up the, the handle, and you want to push the door open. And once you've done that, you want to go inside through the door and you want to follow across the path and you're going to come across the bridge. We've been here before. And then you want to use the teleporter that is in the middle. Okay, so now that we're back in this next area, you want to take a right and you want to cross over the bridge that is just in here and you want to go through the room full of rubble. On the other side you're going to make your way across a, another bridge and you're going to be by the lift and when you're by the lift you want to click the button on the left hand side and the lift will come up. You want to hop on, you want to look to your right and you want to click the button that's going to send you down and you want to go forward and you want to use the science teleporter in front of you. So now that we're out on the other side, we are going to be in a position where we can rotate the piece from earlier. So exit out, take a left and you want to go up the stairs. And at the top of the stairs, take a left and you'll see the piece is in place and you want to click the button uh, at the bottom. Just once for this one, it is a straight piece so you, rotating it any further is not going to do anything for you. Head down the stairs and when you're at the bottom, you want to take a right and go in and you want to use the teleporter. Okay, so now that you're in here, you want to turn around and you want to head back to the lift and you want to hit the button twice to go up. So push the button twice. And when you're at the top, we're going to need to rotate the panel in the middle again so we can teleport out the next in this aligned piece. So click the button on the left and click it again. 
to do the trick for now. Turn around and you want to head to the lift and you want to push the button twice. Turn you all the way to the bottom and then you want to use the teleporter one more time. Alright, so now we're back in this room. We want to turn around and find the exit if you can. And you want to exit out and you want to take a left. You want to go up the stairs and at the top of the stairs, if you don't miss the stairs, that is. Go all the way up. And we're at the top. You want to take a right this time. Follow the pathway all the way along to the end. And eventually you'll come into some more bridges and teleporters. And as you come across the bridge, you get across, you want to use the first teleportation device to move you back. So pull it down, hit the button. And now that we're back in this area, we want to move on, as always. So from this teleporter, we want to turn around, and you want to exit out and cross over the bridge. You'll come into a room full of rubble, you want to go straight through that room full of rubble. And then you want to head down past this area. And then you want to click the button to bring the lift up. Down or whatever. And then you want to click on the down button. Oh, sorry, the up button to go up one more time. And you want to click on the switch left one. And then you want to get onto the lift and you want to head down. And you want to push the down button twice. And when you're at the bottom, you want to use the teleporter again. So now that you're here, exit out past the machine, take a left and you want to go to the top of the stairs. And as you get to the top of the stairs, you want to take a left for this one. And you're going to see the other piece is now teleported in. And we're going to need to hit the button twice. So hit the bottom button twice to rotate this piece into the correct position. Now that you've done that, you want to head back down the stairs and you want to go into the, um, the orb the room on the right hand side at the bottom of the stairs and you want to use the teleporter yet again. Okay, so now we are back in this area with the puzzle. We're going to exit out and we can actually use the maze this time. So push the button to go up one floor. Look to your left and then you want to go into this maze. So follow this path all the way to the very end. There's only one path through. As you get to the end, you want to touch the wall because it's going to teleport you into a new part of the, uh, the world. Once you've done that, you want to take a right and you want to head down this pathway just here. And you want to keep following this until the very end. And as you get to the very end, you'll see a very dark section where the wall can be touched to take you to a new area. And you're going to be on a set of bridges. You want to follow this pathway left, then right. And there's going to be one of those puzzles in front of you. You want to open it up. In this one, you want to break the connections. So when you break out the connections, that is going to unlock one of the gateways at the top for you. So click on them to remove them. And once you've done that, click the button at the top and you want to turn around and you want to backtrack through the wall you just came through. Once you've done that, you want to follow this pathway back to the maze.
And now that you're back at the maze, you want to go through it. So walk on through, follow the path all the way to the end. And as you reach the end, you want to take the lift up. So look up, push the button once, and this is going to take you up higher. And we're going to rotate the maze so that we can navigate through in a different way this time. So you want to click on the left button, and that's going to rotate it. And as you can see, now you can exit from a different way. Turn around, and you want to take the lift down one level. So click the button once, and it'll take you down. And you want to follow the maze all the way through to the very end. And as you reach the end, there's going to be a walkway up. So take it up. At the top, take a left. And you're going to come across what looks like an alien spacecraft. But stay on the right-hand side. Don't go in there just yet. And you want to follow this path around. And you want to keep coming down. And you're going to cross over this bridge just in front of you. And as you get to the other side, there is another puzzle. And, and you want to draw the bridge solution to the puzzle in here. So join the three dots together on the left. Draw a zigzag from the top right down through the middle to the bottom right. Uh, and then join the three dots on the other side together. It's the same solution as all previous puzzles that will enable bridges. Okay, now that that bridge is in place, we want to cross it, and we want to enter the room on the left. So just walk into the left here, and you want to walk forward. We don't need to use any of the teleporters in this room. For some reason, I decided to take a kick out. You want to cross over the bridge on the other side, and you want to walk into the room full of rubble. And you want to keep on going straight through this room full of rubble. And you want to come back to where the, the maze is. So, come across to here. You want to hop onto the maze, you want to push the button to go up one floor, and we're going to rotate the maze again. Okay, so this is we're at the top here, you want to click the button, you just want to rotate it the once. And once that's in that position, we should now be able to progress forward. So turn around, and you want to click the button to take the lift down one floor. Uh, you won't be able to enter the maze from this side, because the idea is to come at it from a different angle now. So we want to backtrack, we want to go through the room that is in front of us, so across the bridge, up the stairs, through the room, and you want to continue forward, and you want to go into the room that is in front of you, and as you come into here, you want to exit out of the right door, and you want to go past this little switch just here, and you want to cross over the newly formed bridge from earlier, uh, and as you come up the hill, you want to cross over this pathway, and then you want to take and follow the path to the right, and as you get to the top of here, you're going to be back at the spaceship. Now, we don't want to go in just the spaceship just yet. We want to go down and we want to go through the maze and follow this to the very end. And once you're here, you want to open up this box and you want to disconnect all of the blue lines again. And once you've dealt with your blue lines, you want to click the button at the top and it's going to get rid of that gateway, clearing the path for you. Turn around and you want to go back through the maze. And as you get out of the maze, you want to head up. You want to take a left and this time we are going to start to board the ship. So go up one floor. Take a left, do not go up the second ramp just yet. Head down, and then you want to click the button at the bottom, and that is going to boot up a big part of the ship. There's also a piece of story here that you can listen to. And you want to head up, and as you head up, take a left, and then you want to keep going even further up. And there's going to be a pod that you can climb into. So hop onto this one, and it's going to move you to a new location.
Okay, so as we're coming into this next area, all chaos is kind of unfolding, uh, and you've exited this strange machine. You want to head out of the spaceship, so head down, and you want to take a right at the bottom, and then you want to take a left, uh, and you'll see, as you come into this area, some interesting things going on. Keep following the path to the left, and you'll go through a gate, and then on your right hand side you're going to see another puzzle, and you need to break all of the connections in here. So salvage the connections by clicking them off, and then at the very top you want to click on the button uh, to get rid of it. To solve the puzzle. Uh, if it's of any interest to you, just to your left there's also an alien on the floor dying under some rubble. So I believe this is one of the creatures that the humans went to war with because of um, other people believing that they were advancing faster. Anyway, turn around and you want to exit back to the ship. And as you come across the ship, we're going to open up a new puzzle. So get ready to take a picture of this one, uh, but we're going to need to draw a different shape onto this grid altogether. And this shape is kind of like a very strange four. So start from the top right. You're going to want to draw an S in the middle and then like a, an upside down kind of hook. And then you want to join to the bottom left hand corner. Once you've done that, you want to click on the button at the top. This is going to take you down. And at the bottom, it's going to rotate the area and then it's going to bring forward an isolation pod. Uh, and this is Caroline Farley. So, uh, sweet Caroline is the achievement. Oh, oh, oh. Get stuck in head. Uh, and then you'll bag yourself the achievement for finding, finding her. Now, once you've done that, we need to solve another part of this puzzle. And we need to adjust the picture that we've got in front of us. And we do that by joining the top section together, by creating kind of like a V at the top, and then we want to join the bottom left dot to this. And apologies for the cut here, I got the puzzle wrong, but when you click the button, that is going to reveal to you one of the main characters of the game. Uh, and it's going to reveal to you that they're in silo uh, storage and they are safe. Now once this is done, we want to turn around and we want to go back to the puzzle and what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect all of the blue dots to allow us to get back to the top. For some reason this was a little bit pain for me so I'm going to cut it short so you don't have to enjoy, enjoy my failure. Uh, yeah, but just click the, uh, the blue things and it should disappear eventually. Okay, so once all of those dots are severed, click on the top button and it's going to take you all the way back out of the ship. Here at the top, we want to exit out to the right, so once you're done with the puzzle, take a right, and you want to cross over the bridge, you want to follow it, the path to the left, and as you're coming through you'll go through this gate, and you want to make your way to the back, and the gate on the back is going to disappear as well. Keep following this around, you're going to come into this area where you've got a bit of a war zone, but take a sharp right before you do anything else. Come over here and you want to solve this puzzle by disconnecting all of the blue lines, and clicking the button on top once you're finished. Now we don't want to go through this gate just yet, so turn around and we want to backtrack a little bit and we're going to get ourselves the next achievement. Uh, I do recommend that you save here and you can force the save by pausing the game and in the top right hand corner you're going to get a bit of a pink uh, like dot up here if you've paused it. Uh, so when that pink blip goes off it means the game has saved. Uh, because we are effectively going to trigger a weapon of mass destruction. You'll also see the guy from the uh, images that you would see around dead on the left hand side because of your actions I believe. Walk forward and stand next to this crystal and you're going to get the achievement for standing next to the WMD get close to death. I dashboard at this point just to be certain that we're not going to lose any save files too. I recommend you do the same. Once you've done that, boot back into your game. Okay, so now that we're back, you want to head to the right and you want to go up the stairs just here and you'll see another little kind of joystick feature and this is another one of those laser beams. So click on it uh, and you'll take control of the laser beam or boot up. I actually have a bit of a nightmare trying to control it and actually end up vaporizing the guy in the back. Uh, didn't mean to do that, however, it doesn't change anything. You want to point the laser beam at the WMD and that is going to cause it to disintegrate, allowing you to move forward. So blow it up. You want to head down, 
and then you want to go past what it, where it was, uh, and we'll walk past that one. And on your left, you're going to see another puzzle. You need to draw in the bridge pattern, so that is the three dots joined together on the left, a zigzag down through the middle, and the three dots joined together on the right. Same puzzle as always. Okay, so we're getting closest to the end of the game now. So turn around from that puzzle and we want to go down across the bridge. And you'll also notice you're starting to get a lot more achievements coming through now, which is always a good sign. So follow the pathway all the way down on the other side of the bridge. Uh, and as you kind of get into this swampy area, take a sharp left and you're going to go into another tree. Make your way into the tree and you're going to find the heart yet again. Okay, and as you're coming through this area, you want to head down the stairs. There is a switch that is in front of the heart. You want to give that one a quick flick, uh, and that's going to bag you for the next achievement. And that is for connecting this well into the heart, so that the pulse is the achievement, and this space is called now. So, from here, now we need to follow the pipe that is on the floor out of one of the portals. You go into these pretty cool looking areas. So, head through the portal. I uh, have a bit of a loading screen here, and we're going to continue forward, and this is going to put you back on the Earth realm. So once you're back here, we want to head up the stairs, and we want to exit out. So head up the stairs. At the top, you want to take a left, and you want to follow the pathway out of the tree. As you come out of the tree, you want to take a right and you want to keep going through. There's a metal gate just in front of you. You want to go through that one. When you're at the metal gate, take a left and you want to keep following the pathway down. And eventually you're going to come up to a bit of a broken railway bridge, but there's two houses here. You can go down the stairs in between them. You want to take a right and we're going to make our way down to the river and we're going to go back to the propeller. As you make it to the propeller, you want to flip the switch to the left, and that's going to cause the, uh, the bridge in front of you to rotate. We're going to be coming back there, and we're going to be able to cross the other side, which we couldn't reach before. So we want to start making our way back up the area to the overbred, overhead bridge of train tracks. And this time around we're going to want to use our cart again. So the cart is on the right hand side. You want to make your way over to it and you want to get on in. Now we're going to do a little bit more driving again. Okay, so now that we're in our machine, we want to scoot backwards a little bit. So we want to hold down and we want to make our way back to kind of this point just here. We want to get out. And as you get out, we want to flip the switch just here to make sure that we're going in the right direction. So pull the lever to the left. You want to hop in, and this is going to allow you to reverse back through the tunnel that is just ahead of us. So hold down, and you're going to go through the tunnel to the right. And you want to just keep holding down until you basically reverse up to the house. That's it, up to... Farley's house, that is. Now that you're here, you want to forward up now. You don't need to hit the switch, you'll automatically go in the right direction. And you want to push on as far as you possibly can. At the end of this section there will be a teleporter that you can go through, so just drive on through it. 
you want to keep holding down onto the forward button and we're going to drive the car as far possible to the front so you're going to go forward you're going to go through an area you're going to loop around and eventually you're going to come to a bit of a dead end so drive it forward As you come into here, this is a looping track around, so keep going forward, go all the way around, and as you come out the other side, it's going to basically put you back on the same track, but this time around you're going to go to the left because we set this up right at the start of the game. So as you come through, it's going to go back out, but this time around you're going to take a left, drive this all the way to the end, and eventually you can't go any more further. But we are now going to destroy the rocks that we have not been able to destroy so far. So look up to the right, you want to hit that switch and that's going to turn on your laser for you. And you want to point the laser down and you want to look to the far right. You'll see the rocks at the very bottom. They're very tricky to spot, but they're just there glowing red. Hit the laser and you're going to destroy them. So, And that's now gone and cleared up. To get out of here, you're going to need to reverse a little bit. So turn off your laser and then you're going to hold down and you're going to back the, back the car up a little bit. And once you've done that, you want to get on out. Now that you're out, you want to head back into the area and go through the tracks where you just came. Follow it to the right and you'll see a yellow container. Right next to that container is a switch. So head up and push the switch and this is going to bring the forklift um, lift up again. Uh, when it's at the top, you want to get into the forklift and there's a button inside that you need to hit and that will take you down. Now that you're down, you want to head down the steps, you want to take a left and you want to follow this around. Keep going down past the cabinet from earlier and then you're going to enter back into the garage that we were using to get our license plates in. Exit out, take a right and you want to start making your way back towards the trains. And as you kind of get to the trains, you want to make your way up past the tracks and you want to go in between them. You want to go to the building at the back and you want to enter into the red building and you want to exit to the left. Now as you start making your way up the hill, you see a couple of bugs flying around. They seem to be getting more and more in this area. Don't go into the mine shaft. You want to take a left here and you want to go follow the pathway around. There'll be some stone steps in front of you. You're going to want to make your way up those stone steps. Keep going up to the top. And as you get to the top, you want to take a left and you want to touch the purple rock that is right there. This will now bring you through to a different part of the level. Instantly take a look to the left and you want to start making your way across. And you're going to be above the bridge from earlier. Come down at the bottom of the steps here. Just take a left and you want to go into the room here. And there's another purple stone just out of sight. Touch this one and you want to start to walk up. For some reason I decided to do a 360. Uh, walk up and you want to continue forward and immediately take a right and as you come down here you want to use the teleporter that is just by this green rock. Okay, so now that we're spawned back into this area, it's a very familiar place if you haven't already recognized it. Start making your way down and you want to hang a left. You're going to go through a gate just here. Uh, now, actually, if you stay at this gate, there is a little bit of story dialogue. Um, however, I keep pushing on. Take a right and you want to go up the hill. At the top of the hill where the lights are, take a left and keep going up. You want to cross over the stone bridge that's in front of you. And we're going to go into the forest ahead and you want to keep pushing forward. So you want to make your way across to the other side. And as you kind of come in, you want to keep following this path forward as far as possible. As you come into this area, you're going to cross over the bridge and you're going to come into this alien building. You want to make your way across one side and you want to continue straight through there and you want to continue across to the next side. And there's going to be a science teleporter thing in front of you. Ignore this one. 
past the red barrel and then you want to click the button to bring the lift up. And then you want to take the lift down, so click the button and you're going to lift all the way down to the bottom. And as you land into this area, you want to get off the lift and you want to make your way into the building just in front of you. Head inside and as you come into this area, you want to use the middle teleporter. So you want to pull down the hatch and hit the button and it's going to teleport you through to a new location. Okay, so now that we're in the new area, we are going to exit out. So turn around, you'll see a bridge. You want to cross over this bridge and you want to go up to the section to the right and you're going to go through a doorway. And as you're coming through this area, you want to keep following the pathway through and you want to hang a right and you're going to come back into the area where we're twisting the puzzle pieces earlier. Just walk past this one, take a right and then you want to continue through and hit a loading screen. I'm going to cut that short. And as you're in this section you want to keep pushing forward. You want to open up this area by lifting up the, the yeah. latch. And you want to push the door open and you're going to be on the other side of the river this time. So you want to make your way across the propeller bridge and you want to go across and then you're going to follow the pathway down as long as you can. On the right hand side you'll spot a painting along the way. It does nothing. Just felt like telling you about it. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, just keep walking this path as far as you can. Now that you're at the end, you want to take a left and you want to enter in through the tunnel that is just here. Uh, and you keep following it through and you're going to find a new type of teleporter. You're going to throw that switch to the right and then you want to hit the button. This is going to take you into a completely different zone now. We are now in a place called Soria. So you want to exit out and we want to take a right and we want to follow the pathway up the hill and as you come up the hill stick to the right uh, and you're going to keep going forward take a right at the top of the hill and we want to head down the hill into the mist and at the bottom of this area walk around the crater we're going to kind of want to keep walking towards the sun but head up the hill and you want to stay on the right hand side uh, don't go to the left just yet Make your way to the top because we're about to pick up our next achievement. Now, as you reach the top, don't go any further than that. You want to take a left at the top. You want to follow this pathway up here and stick to the right. And as you're going to get to the top, you are going to look at Earth from Soria. This is going to bag you the achievement for doing so, called Raising Arizona. And from here, you want to turn around and we want to start making our way back down the hill. As you're coming in, you want to take a right and you want to make your way down the hill. And as we're coming down the hill, you're going to see on the right hand side, these kind of red rocks. We want to go around these and we want to take a sharp right and we're going to continue up the hill. You want to follow the pathway along and eventually you're going to come to a red tree. This red tree is going to have a hole in it and we want to go into here and we want to connect Soria to the heart. So make your way down and as you get to the bottom, and enjoy your loading screen. Uh, there will be a tap at the bottom of the stairs, so take a right, make your way down, and you want to flick the switch by the heart to unlock yourself the achievement for connecting Soria to the heart. Okay, so once the heart's connected, we now need to follow the pipe on the floor. So follow that around, we want to go out the doorway. It's going to go through a portal and it's going to take you back. It's pretty awesome with the graphics. It's going to take you back to Hanath. And then once you're in this area, you want to make your way up the stairs. And you want to get exit out the tree. So take a left and follow the tunnel through.
as we're now coming out here, take a right and you want to go out the metal gate just here. As you exit out the metal gate, take a left and you want to follow the pathway around past the water tower. Uh, you're going to come up to the two houses again, which we've visited a few times now. You want to make your way down the stairs just here. And then we want to take a right and we want to start making our way down this way. And we're going to take a left and we're going to go into where CW is. Now, we're not going to go see CW straight away. We're going to go into the building on the left-hand side because we're now setting ourselves up to finish the game. Head up the stairs, and as you kind of get to the top of the stairs, take a immediate left here, and we want to open up this door in the corner. So lift up the bar, and you want to open the red door. And as you do this, you want to take a right, and we're going to go up to the top of this area. Um, you'll recognize this area from before. This is kind of where we release the water, but this time around we're going to continue up to the top and we're going to go through this invisible wall thingy here. It's going to teleport us to a different section of the map and we're going to make our way through. And as you come up to the top, we are going to be by kind of a, a detonator thing. So we want to make our way up. This is called the bleeder. And it's an achievement for destroying, destroying the bleeder. You want to open the panel on the other side, and as you do so, you want to lift this switch up. As you can see, it's set to blow. And then you want to follow the pathway around, and we want to backtrack down into the teleporter area. And as we enter this section, we want to follow the path back down, so cross over the rocky little bridge. You want to make your way down the wooden pathway and as you go down the wooden pathway you want to take a left and you want to go back in through the door just here and from this point onwards I seem to get lost a little bit uh, it's not normal uh, so yeah backtrack and we want to go down the stairs here um, there is a thing that we will need to do later for the second ending with that uh, particular item at the top but I've opted for this ending for the time being so follow the tracks out. And actually here I create a save by holding down the start button and you get the little pink blip and that means it saved the game and we'll resume here later, potentially. So follow the pathway forward and go up to the tracks. Just after the tracks you want to take a left and you want to go between the houses. Take a left here and go past the water tower. You want to follow the pathway around until we reach the, the room here and we want to go through this wooden door. Staying to the left, you want to use the lift here and you want to push the up button to go up. Then you want to push it again to go up a second time. And now that you're at the top of here, we are at the top of this tower and we can actually blow up the bleeder. So once you reach the top here, we're basically at the end of the game now. So turn around, you want to step outside, you want to hit the plunger and you want to push down on it. And if everything's gone to plan so far, you're going to get this glorious explosion and this glorious achievement called going out the bang. And that's just for destroying the bleeder in Unrath. Once you've done that, this is now going to trigger the end sequence of the game. So this is going to get us the ending that takes us back to Earth. So Hunrath is actually trapped in a cube or a somewhere else in a different location. Uh, the seeds were able to move different parts of different planets to different locations. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Hunrath was one of the locations from Earth that was moved to this place. Alongside other parts of other planets where they joined together as a society. And the society itself slightly collapsed when one of the other groups of aliens believed that um, the others were trying to overthrow them and not including them in their technological advancements. CW makes the decision to go back to Earth. Uh, and this is the yeah, this is the end of the game. It takes a little while because you're waiting for CW to actually set it up, so just let it play out. Now one of the things that I do do here is I actually dashboard the the game uh, during the ending sequence. I don't know if it's necessary or not. I just try to do that to avoid having to play through the game two times. So if you're doing this for an achievement hunt, then I recommend them doing so. But if you want to play through the second game, a uh, game a second time, I think it's feasible. Um, but it should spawn you back into the area where you selected, uh, where we did the save just a second ago. So just ride this bit out and eventually you'll get yourself an achievement. Oh, my God. 
At this point I do dashboard my game, I don't know if that's going to be the same case for you, but dropping back uh, for me allows me to get the second ending. I don't know if that will cha it actually changes the dynamic or not, but um, I had to I reboot my game just to be on the safe side. Okay, so now back in my game after clicking the resume game option, uh, we're back where I saved. We want to make our way back into this building and we want to make our way up to the top of the stairs. Now we're going to mix things up a little bit, so we're still going to detonate the, the bleeder. Um, but however, this time around, we're going to sabotage CW's plan. So make your way up to the top, and we want to unplug this battery that we plugged in at the very beginning of the game to restore power. So when you come into here, you want to pull this one up, and it's going to slide to the left. And once you've done that, we want to go back down the stairs. So go back to the tracks, we want to take the right, and we want to go down the stairs to the very bottom. Uh, and this is a alternate ending that we're going to go for this time around. So exit out of this area, go out of the main gate, uh, and then we want to take a right, uh, and you're going to follow the train tracks to this area just here. And as you're coming up on the houses, I have a bit of a delay. And as you're coming up onto these houses, you want to go in between them to the left. You want to go up the stairs. As you get to the top of the stairs, take a left and you want to follow the pathway around. And as you get to the end of that pathway, you want to enter this door just here. And then you want to go into the lift and you want to push the up button twice to take you to the very top of the tower. And now that you're at the top of this tower, you want to exit out and look to your right and you want to hit the plunger again. So we want to drop that and destroy the leader one more time. Once that's done and the bug has flown past, you pretty much just need to wait out the end sequence here. So head back into the lift. And this is the alternate ending where all four worlds are moved to a different world altogether and not taken back to Earth. And this was originally Caroline Farley's plan. So. Write it out here, eventually you'll get the final achievement of the game for getting the ultimate ending where all of the worlds come together. I've been Jessica from the Achievement Squad, if you find this guide useful, drop us a like, comment and subscribe, and happy hunting. Bye. Uh...